Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I greet all of you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Buana Yesu Asifiwesana. It is my prayer and my hope that uh, you had a wonderful week. And I know the Lord has walked with us. He has been together with all of us and we praise God for his love and mercy. It is yet another week God has given unto us. Uh, another Monday, and as we said, it is good to commit our week, our days of the week to the hands of our Father, because whatever is committed to the Lord, as we said last week, is that the Lord establishes our ways. The Lord makes sure that we succeed in each and everything that we do. And so I welcome you, brothers and sisters, this wonderful morning God has given unto us. I know it will be a busy week. It is a week whereby our children are going back to schools. It is a week whereby we have got ups and downs. We'll be traveling from one place to the other. And I want to believe the Lord is going to bless us, to be together with us, and even to do great things in our lives. So brothers and sisters, again, we need to call unto heavens. We need to call unto the Lord so that he can hear us, he can be together with us, and he can bless us together. Today I want us to do a different, a different thing all together as we pray, as we remember the days of this week to the hands of God, and I want us to pray together with you. Uh, I want us to just call on the name of our Father together, uh, all of us. And so prepare yourself wherever you are, you are, and I know the Lord is going to bless us. From the Bible, uh, the scriptures and the letter that was written by Paul to the church of the Thessalonians. In the book of First Thessalonians, chapter number 5, verse number 16, 17, and 18, allow me to read this morning as we commit our lives and the days of the week to the hands of our Father. Uh, this is chapter, uh, First Thessalonians, chapter number 5, verse number 16, 17, and 18. The Bible says, Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Allow me to repeat again. Be joyful always, pray with, uh, continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Paul was reminding the church of Jesus Christ we need to give to be happy and to rejoice in the Lord always. When I look at this and I always think about these scriptures, sometimes it does not make sense in our lives. Rejoicing in all circumstances, rejoicing always, being happy always. It is not possible, brothers and sisters, to be happy. Leo, you are happy. Tomorrow you are happy when there is sickness. You are happy when there are difficulties. You are happy when you are taking children back to school. You are happy. Sometimes it is not possible. But thank God because of Paul. He knew and he, he knew what he meant by telling us and telling the church of Jesus Christ that rejoice in the Lord always. Be joyful always. He was trying to say despite the difficulties that come in our lives, despite the challenges, despite the hard times we will be facing, let your heart produce that fruit of joy because the fruit of joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. As though he was saying, be joyful always. In good times, even in bad times, be happy. In those worst moments and in those happy moments, be joyful to the Lord. And he continued and he said, let us not get tired of praying. Pray without ceasing. Pray with pray continually. Every now and then is a praying moment. All the time, be prayerful. Pray. Tell God what you need. Like what uh, James was asking the church. James alikuwa nasema ya kwamba, 
is there anyone among among you who is happy let that person give thanks to the lord is there anyone who is in trouble let that person pray and he said with very encouraging words to us akasema ya kwamba for those prayers that are made by those people who trust in the lord that righteous man those prayers are uh, effective and they availeth much in our lives and so prayers when we pray it is not in vain we have a god who hears our prayers again paul told these people that let us give thanks in all circumstances in all circumstances not in some in all circumstances circumstances when god have answered our prayers give thanks when god have not yet yet answered our prayers give thanks when god says yes give thanks when he says no give thanks when he says wait give thanks in all circumstances give thanks to the lord and this day brothers and sisters as we go before the lord i want us to do this one important thing all of us together i want us to give thanks to our father i know the journey has been long there are many things that we have achieved despite not achieving all of them There are many things that God have answered to us. Many prayers God have answered. He has been so faithful to us. I know there are many that have not yet been answered, but we can still count and say this far the Lord is Ebenezer. This far it has taken the hand of our Father. We have all the reasons to tell God thank you. And so this morning brothers and sisters, I do not want us to go before the Lord asking for anything more today i want us to tell god thank you and i want I, i i will lead you and i want you to just go before the lord wherever you are whether you are traveling in your car in that matat wherever you are and watching us from in your house in your business in your job just open your mouth take a moment tell god thank you i will tell you what to tell god thank you for because there are many things many things god have done to us and i know god is going to bless us and so i want us to dedicate this week for telling god thank you because of whom he is telling god thank you because of the many blessings he that he has bestowed into our lives the many things he has done to us like what paul said give thanks in all circumstances and so brothers and sisters look at your life we are now going before the lord look at your life reflect See what God has done for you. Today you are alive. There are many people who have passed on. I want us to take a minute. Wherever you are, close your eyes if you are able to do so. Open your mouth, open your heart to your maker. Connect yourself with the spirit of the Lord. I want you to go before the Lord, just tell him thank you because of whom he is. Adore him, glorify him. Mwambie ya kwamba hakuna mwingine ila yeye. Yeye ndiye Mungu mwaminifu. Just go before the Lord. Use those good words to tell the Lord how powerful, how wonderful he is. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Just glorify him. Tell him thank you daddy. Tell him thank you our Father. You have been so faithful to us Lord. Yes, you are our Father. You are the Lord of lords. You You are the king of kings you are the mighty god we worship you we thank you daddy thank you because of whom you are in our lives oh god were it not for you tungekuwa tumeisha tungekuwa tumekufa adui angekuwa ametumaliza just tell god thank you he is a faithful father he has never left us sometimes we have been, we have been unfaithful to him we have been walked in a, in in ways that are not right with him but he has remained faithful in our lives take a moment tell god thank you for whom he is in our lives he is a faithful god we thank you our daddy we thank you for whom you are oh god thank you because you have remained faithful in our lives
Thank you because there is none like you, O oh God. We know there are many gods who have been worshipped, but we thank you because you are the true, you are the living God from beginning to the end. You are our Father. We thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Daddy. There is none like you, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah God, for remaining our Father in our lives. Take a moment, brother and sister, tell God thank you because of the gift of life this morning. In, uh, we always sing and we tell God, thank you, God, for you are our Father. We sing a song and we tell God, I want you, God, to know that I am always happy and thankful because of you, because of the many things you've done to my life. You have given us life and you have made us to live, oh God. Tell God thank you because of the gift of life. Even in your family, because of your children, they are alive today. They have been at home, those who are, who are, who are in school. They have been at home for those many weeks. They have been here together with us. Tell God, thank you. He has taken good care of us. He has given us the gift of life. Mwambie mungu ni asante kwa sababu amekua mungu pamoja nasi. Ametupa kipawa cha uhai. God is so faithful. Kuna watu ambao wamenenda mbele zetu. Kuna watu ambao wametuacha, wamegonjeka, wameenda mbele zetu. And the Lord has been faithful. He has made us remnants in this kingdom, in his kingdom. Tell God, thank Thank you. Thank you, Father, because of the gift of life. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for your protection. Thank you, God, because today we are alive. We thank you. Thank you because of our parents. They are alive today. Thank you because of our children, O King of Glory. Thank you because of our wives and our husbands, O King of Glory. We thank you for the gift of life, our Father. When Jehovah, and so we are thankful. We are grateful to you, Daddy, because of the gift of life. Thank you for the many things you've given unto us. Tell God thank you because of his provision. I know despite the many difficulties we have undergone, the economy of this country, the Lord has remained your provider. He has supplied all your needs. You have not lacked. Tell God thank you because of the food you have eaten. Tell God thank you because of the waters. We have seen rain. It is raining. God has been ble uh, blessing us. He has been faithful to us. We have not lacked. Tumeona, tukona chakula ya kutosha, tukona mahali pakulala, open your mouth, open your heart, tell God thank you because he has provided for us. We have not lacked. He has led us in green pastures. Hatuwezi sema kwamba tumekosa. Mungu amekuwa mwaminifu kwetu, ametupatia, amekuwa our provider, ame supply our needs and we are grateful daddy. Thank you Jehovah God for your provision. Thank you for providing unto us oh God. Tunajua ya kwamba ni wengi ambao walikosa chakula lakini sisi baba umetupatia angalau kitu tumewekelea kwa meza asante mfalme wa rehema asante kwa sababu ya zile nguo ambazo umetupatia tuko na nguo za kuvaa tuko na mahali pa kuishi mfalme wa rehema we are grateful our father we've come to tell you thank you because of what you've done to us thank you because of the gift of rains our father tunaona wakati kunanyesha mfalme wa rehema hatutakosa chakula wema wako umetutosha baraka zako we are thankful and grateful to you, O Jehovah. Thank you, Daddy. Brothers and sisters, tell God thank you because of his protection. Tell God thank you because of his healing. Mungu ametu kinga, ametu bariki. Kuna mahali tumeondoka, tukarudi. Mahali ambapo tumepitia katika zile barabara ambazo watu wamepata ajali, wengine wametua, wameaga kwa sababu ya zile ajali, wengine wamelema kwa sababu ya zile ajali za barabara. And the Lord has been faithful to us. He has offered us protection. He has been together with us. Tunalala, tunamuka, na tunajipata ya kwamba tuko vile tulilala. We thank God because of that. Kuna wale walisumbuliwa na wezi, kuna wale walipato na janga mbalimbali, kuna wale mnyumba 
nyumba zao zilibomolewa wazikavunjwa wengine zilibebwa na maji but the lord has protected us kuna mahali mungu ametutoa ametutoa in those pits of death in those uh, valleys of death he has been faithful to us kuna zile ugonjwa zimekuja we have the covid 19 imetupata this virus imekuwa kwa watu wengine the lord has been faithful to us ame to protect wengine wetu waligonjeka na mungu ametuponya tell god thank you because of his healing kama vile david alikuwa na uh, when, when david was singing the, the, the psalm of 103 he was telling god praise the lord oh my soul because he has healed all your illnesses brothers and sisters tell god thank you because of his protection and because of his healing upon our lives our diseases god have healed us despite the many things that have come to us he has been our healer jehovah rafa in our lives jehovah we thank you thank you for your protection oh god thank you because you have taken us through these valleys and shadow of death oh king of glory and god you have protected us oh king of glory even where we be, we were sick our father you came in through for us oh god and you granted us healing from above oh jehovah we are grateful and we are thankful jehovah thank you daddy for your protection thank you daddy for your healing oh god we thank you even because of those who are trusting you for healing because when we give thanks our father we know you will come through for them our father we thank you because your healing power is always new every morning we are thankful daddy because of your protection and because of your healing tell god thank you because of the our country this morning there are many things that we can see god is reviving for us i know god is taking us places things are not uh, they're not all that good all, all 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 well for us but we want to thank god because of this far he has brought us as a country just tell god thank you because of this land of kenya this land belongs to our father despite those difficulties that are there despite the many things that are happening tell god thank you because of this land of kenya because it is in this land that god will bless us from it is from this land that jehovah will reveal himself to all of us tell god thank you because of the leaders he has given unto us tell god thank you even for the remaining part of their regime because i know god is going to change things for the good of all of us tell god thank you because of our nation Kenya. Father we thank you because of this land of Kenya. Thank you because you have blessed us with many things oh God. We thank you because it is a land that many fear you oh God. It is a land where we are given freedom of worship oh daddy. And Jehovah it is in this land we know you are going to raise many people to take them to greater heights our father. It is from this land our father you are going to heal our lives oh God. You are going to heal our leaders. You are going to heal our economy you're going to heal our lives and you're going to do to, to do many things through our land of Kenya we thank you because Kenya belongs to you we thank you because our leaders belongs to you we thank you because Kenya belongs to you our father thank you because of this land of Kenya tell god thank you because of our families i know god there are many things that he has done as families as individuals just tell god thank you you can count the blessings that god has done for you for this four months and this second week of this fifth month of the year i know there are many things you can count and tell god thank you because of this thank you because of this we will count the blessings of our father tell god thank you because of those those blessings thank you god because of your blessings in our lives thank you father because you have seen us through in many ways oh god as families we are thankful jehovah as individuals we are thankful to you jehovah god thank you because you have taken us for all those days that have passed for this year oh king of glory we thank you jehovah god we never knew that we will see this day our father but we are grateful daddy as families as individuals oh king of glory as a church we are grateful oh king of glory because you have brought us to this far oh jehovah god thank you daddy for the many things you've done to us the many blessings 
we can count in our lives. We are thankful, Jehovah. We are grateful, King of glory. Tell the Lord to continue to uplift you. To, con to help you to continue. Just tell him thank you because of the ministry he has put in your life. Tell the Lord thank you because of the level he's taking you to. Because I want to believe there is a place God is taking you. In the ministry, even as a, as, as a, as a person, as a personal life, in your business, in your employment, in the many areas that God has called you in, in the talents and the potentials that God has put in your hands. The Lord is taking you to another level. I want you to take a moment and tell God thank you. Labda hata huijui, haujui mahali Mungu anakupeleka, but there is somewhere God is taking us. And because we want God, tunataka Mungu atufikishe mahali pale. Tunataka tufike katika zile hatima zetu. Tell God thank you because kuna mahali anakupeleka. Kuna mahali anapeleka biashara yako. Kuna mahali anapeleka maisha yako. Kuna mahali anatupeleka sisi wote. Kila mtu na na, na njia zake because he's a faithful God. So tell God thank you. In a ministry, in your calling, tell God thank you kwa sababu kuna mahali anakupeleka. He's a faithful full God. Thank you, Jehovah God, because you have called us in different areas, our Father. You've called us in different places, O King of Glory. You have talented us in different ways. You've gifted us in different ways, our Father. Na tunajua ya kwamba mfalme wa rehema, hizi vipawa na hizi baraka ulitupatia mungu wa rehema, niza kutupeleka mbali. Jehovah, we know, King of Glory, people have eaten with kings, together with kings, our Father, because of what you have put in their lives, our Father. You have taken them places, you've taken them far, oh God. You have taken them to great heights, oh King of glory, because of the gifts and the many areas you've blessed them, our Father. Thank you because you are taking each one of us to those heights, our Father. You are taking us to places, oh God. You are taking us to, to places, our Father. In our businesses, they are going far. In our employment, Jehovah God, we are going far. In our ministries, O oh King of Glory, impact will be found and seen to the glory and to the honor of your name. You are taking us somewhere, O oh God. We are thankful and we are grateful, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah God, because you will win battles for us. Thank you, Daddy. Tell God thank you because of the part that is remaining for this week, the days of this week. Tell God thank you. I know there are many things you are planning to do, but tell God thank you because of all of them. Tell God thank you because of today, Monday. Tell God thank you because of Tuesday. Tell God because of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just tell God thank you. Whatever is going to happen, whatever we are going to do, just be grateful to the Lord. He holds holds our lives. He holds our future. He knows what will come to us in those days of the week. Just tell God thank you because of those days. As we go out, as we come in, be grateful to our Father. As our children go back to school, tell God thank you. As we look for fees and those other monies, oh Lord, tell God thank you because he will be our provider. He will be with our children even in schools because of his faithfulness. Tell him thank you because of this week. Father, we thank you because of today. We thank you because of tomorrow, Tuesday. We thank you because of Wednesday of this week. We thank you because of Thursday of this week. We thank you because of Friday. We thank you because of Saturday of this week and even Sunday of this week. Oh God, we are grateful for those days because into your hands, oh God, we lay our spirits. Into your hands we commit our lives. We thank you because great things and miracles are gonna happen in our lives in this week. It will not be like any other week. Oh Jehovah we declare it is a week blessed of you and so Lord we are grateful. Thank you Jehovah God for everything. We are so thankful to you oh daddy. 
We thank you because of all the many things you've done. Thank you because of the many things you are doing, oh God. We thank you because of what you will do even after this. Thank you for the, uh, the prayers you have, you have answered, oh God. Thank you for the prayers you have not answered, our Father. Thank you for the prayers you have told us to wait, oh God. Today we have come to tell you thank you. Receive our gratitudes, Jehovah. We are thankful, O oh God. Even as we start our week, we thank you, Jehovah God. As we go out, as we come in, we thank you, Daddy. As we do all our businesses of the week, O oh God, we are thankful to you, O oh God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jehovah God. May the Lord bless all of us. May he let his face shine upon us as we start our week. May his peace rest upon our lives and our souls and our things as we do many things, O oh God. Father, bless us. Receive our thanks to the glory and to the honor of your name. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we pray and we give thanks. Amen, amen, amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen, 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 amen.